people welcome back more card review so last week was cyber dark week so this week it's actually roid week so as you can tell by the title we're actually looking at two roid cards we're gonna be looking at two roid cards for this card review two roid cards on one card review and then a fake roid card for fake card friday so look forward to that so let's not waste any more time let's hop right into it and start off with the first card we're looking at today so this is mixroid Mixroid, another roid monster, sure. All right. He is a wind machine effect monster, level four, with sadly zero attack. But he does have 2200 defense. He has that booty, though. He has the, the booty of a truck, a dump truck. All right, but he's actually a mixer. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the effect. So you contribute one machine monster. Special summon one non win roid monster from your deck. So I like how they put the non win, and of course, you can splash a little bit of roids with speed roids because of course roids in the name but non win so you cannot summon that limited to one terror top uh the, which i guess the ban list goes into effect today that this video goes up so terror top is at one now so a rip on that of course tributing the one machine monster is a cost so if you tribute and you get sex you know or something like that something negates you something strikes you uh the tributing it is the cost uh, but, you know, you might be able to do a decent XP play. You already have a machine monster that doesn't really sync up, not like a level 4 with this. You can summon this, tribute off that monster, summon a uh, non-win roid monster from your deck that's level 4, and you can go into a rank 4 play, or you can uh, link summon, etc., etc. But it has another effect as well. So you can pay half your life points. Ooh, that is a steep cost. That is a steep cost at times, at times, you know. Uh, you know, most time when people say, Oh, half my life points. That's 4,000 life points. No, half. Half. Whatever is half. So, well, it could be 4,000 life points. Yeah, maybe at the start of the duel. You know, at the end of the duel, I could be at 200 life points left. I can summon this. Pay half. I can always pay half, you know? It's one of the main reasons why some judgment is, you know, banned and so powerful. is because you can always pay half. You know, hero plays, you know, they pay half to do their hero lives. So, uh, we should probably go ahead and compare this effect to that caliber. So, then banish any number of machine monsters from your GY, including this card. So this is a graveyard effect. Okay. So banish a whole bunch of machine type monsters, including this, and special summon one Roy Fusion monster from your Echo deck with a level equal to the total number of monsters banished to activate the effect, ignoring its summoning condition, but it's destroyed during the end phase. Uh, that's a pretty powerful effect. Uh, the monster doesn't have its effect negated. It can still attack and conduct its battle phase. And like I said, it doesn't cost you anything. And by cost you anything, I mean resources, you know. Yes, you know, you're paying half your life points. Like I said, half is anything. And you're just using monsters that are in the graveyard that you've already used up. Banish those to so go ahead and summon a red fusion monster from your extra deck, ignoring summoning conditions. Sucks that's destroyed during the end phase, but, you know, let's go ahead and keep things safe. You can only use each effect of mixed right once per turn. So, uh, I saw a lot of people getting on this card saying that Mixer wasn't that great, that it's kind of crappy, but actually, in my opinion, it's actually not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, like I said, in later in the game, you can go ahead and just play this effect, and it's not like you can only use the effect of Mixer uh, once per duel. Uh, so, if you have multiple of these, and you can keep paying half, you can keep on summoning uh, Roid monsters from the extra decks, they can still attack, uh, and they still have their effect. So, let's go ahead and actually move on to the next card which is possibly one of the cards that you will actually summon with mixed right so uh roy's got a new fusion monster so let's go ahead and look at that so this is super via croid mobile base so he is a earth machine fusion effect monster level 10 so mixed right you got to banish mixed right and nine other machine type monsters to summon this guy level 10 with sadly zero attack zero attack but you want to know booty five thousand booty 5,000 booty, you know, that 5,000 stat, and just the way he looks, kind of reminds me of Super Chocolatey Fudge Covered, and uh, once that can effect, he might actually have a little bit of synergy to that, so his material is one Roid Fusion Monster plus one Roid Monster, so it's kind of difficult, but in a sense, no, it's not, because you're like, one Roid Fusion Monster, uh, did you forget about Cyperoid, you know, he's a level 5, instant fusion, summon him, have Roid uh, monster and then just go ahead and fuse it up and bam see this that's fairly easy uh to bring out when you could just use instant fusion to summon that uh the cycroid let's look at the effect so you could target one face up monster your opponent controls and special summon one roid monster from your deck or extra deck with attack less than or equal to the targeted monsters 
Roids generally have low attack. You know, this guy right here, zero attack. Mixoid, zero attack. A lot of them have low attack. So pretty much, I can just target a monster on your side of the field and summon another copy of mobile base from my extra deck. So it's actually pretty good. Um, as the Yu-Gi-Oh! stand right now, that's totally fine. But of course, as we know, uh, when the rule change comes into effect, when Link Summon comes into effect, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because, of course, I'm summoning this guy in my extra deck space and he can't use his effect and summon something to my main monster zone. So I would kind of need him uh, to be in my main monster zone or have a Link monster pointing to two uh, different ex uh, spaces in my main monster zone, have him in one and then use his effect to summon it in another. So that's definitely going to be hampering. Or is it? Or is it? Because his second effect kind of uh, jimmies around this uh, restriction with the new rules. Of course, his name is Mobile Base. So uh, his second effect is, well, you can only use uh, that effect to uh, summon from the deck or extra deck with attack class. And you can only use that effect once per turn. But, I mean, obviously. Uh, so just in case you go, you know, summon him then use this effect to summon a copy of yourself. You can't do, use that effect to summon another copy of yourself, but use that effect to summon another, no, you can only use the effect of Super Free Accord Mobile Base once per turn. But the second effect, once per turn, during the end phase, you can target one other Roid monster in your main monster zone. So you've already prepared for the, the changes with the links mechanic, all right? Return that target to your hand. So go ahead and target another Roid monster. Your main monster zone, that's the card to your hand. And if you do, move this card to the main monster zone. There you go. So uh, it sucks that you have to wait all the way until the end phase. That's the, that's the part where I'm having a gripe with this effect. If you, didn't, if you could just activate this effect, that'd be great. You just summon this guy, use this effect, return, move it to the main monster zone, use the effect, target one of your opponent's monsters, summon another copy of it from the extra deck to the uh, from the extra deck to the extra deck zone, then you have uh, this in your main monster zone, another copy of it, extra deck zone, of course, uh, they're both level 10, and then XC, and Tadora, and the Gustav X, and then, of course, if you have three level 10 Super Chocolate Fudge cover, like I said, uh, kind of looks like this, it has a similar feel, but like I said, you gotta wait all the way until the end phase, so, you summon this guy, he's not really doing too much, uh, during the end phase, you go ahead and return a right, move him to the main monster zone, and then your next turn, you can go ahead and use the effect to summon something uh, to your extra deck zone. Uh, but like I said, this, that first effect, you can still summon monsters from your deck, so as long as your opponent has a monster with attack uh, that is uh, greater than the monster you want to summon from the deck, you can still pull something out of the deck and summon in the main monster zone, so that's fine. As well so uh, both of these cards are actually fairly fairly good I must say uh, that when you think of roids you think crap when you think roids you think speed roids but no just Cyrus plain old classic roids uh, both mixoid and mobile base are both not terrible cards so uh, good job Konami as of late you know they've been giving support to these older archetypes and they've been doing a pretty good job so uh, good job Konami good on you so that's pretty much all I have to say about these two Roy cards. So, of course, on Wednesday, I'll be back and looking at two more Roy cards. They got another counter trap and they have a fill spell. So we'll be looking at that on Wednesday. And, of course, I, as I said on Friday, for Fake on Friday, we are looking at a fake Roy card. So look forward to that. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy Roy Week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe button, bell for notifications. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow with some more you get ready content. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.